Thank you very much, Senator Hassan, for bestowing this honor on me this evening. And um, I would also like to thank my cousins from Italy, Frank, <laughs> and right. um, James. Uh -huh. We have been around a very long time. Oh, yes. And um, the support that James gave when the call came, I just had to be there. And being around Senator Passat for from since or before she was elected, I know she's somebody that I'm willing to support because of the type of person that she is. Again, thank you, uh, especially Table 3. <laughs> table 3 is here with me tonight. And um, my, including yeah, Dr. Hasdick and um, Tempo, and my co-workers at Century 21 Achievers Real Estate. You know, community service is something that um, we all aspire to do. And so even without getting a recognition, it is something that we will always do. So again, I just want to thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I would be remiss if I didn't say um, also hello to the, the county leader. Yes, um, good evening. My name is Edmund Sadio and I'm the owner of um, Century 21 Achievers Real Estate who was just honored by Senator Roxanne Passar. I've known her before she was senator and um, I'm giving her the support by this fundraiser with quite a number of other people here this evening. Well, my name is Roy Hastick. I'm the president of the Caribbean American Chamber of Commerce and, Im and Industry. I'm here tonight to support a very dear friend, a hard-working legislator, Roxanne Persaud, was in the Assembly, and also now she's in this, the New York Senate. She has done an outstanding job for all of us here in Brooklyn, and I'm here to support James Connolly and Chairman Sedio for their hard work in bringing all Brooklynites together. Well, I wish them well. They are leaders extraordinaires and uh, I'm here tonight for the, all of them. My name is El Ricky Tolo and I'm, I was honored by the State Senator Roxanne Prasad. But it's always a, um, a honor to be, you know, to, to be recognized by, you know, folks for the work that you have done in the community and I was, I'm especially grateful this evening to be honored with such distinguished uh, members of the community who were also honored. So, you know, we want to make sure that uh, Senator Prasad is successful in our upcoming re-election. I think she's been doing a great, great job and uh, we want to see that continued. Jordan Langford, I'm president of the Guyana Tri-State Alliance, proud Guyanese. I'm here tonight because Roxanne Prasad is a great legislator. And Senator Prasad has been volunteering all her life and I am also in that same vein. As far as education is concerned, that's top of my priority. We have scholarship students, and we just graduated the last of 14 full scholarships. So tonight is especially good for me to be here and to stand with Roxanne Prasad. Let her know that she has my full support. Jerry Dawes, I'm a director with Con Edison, engineer by background. I received the uh, honor today for the work I do in the community, particularly mentoring and guiding African-American youth to pursue careers in energy and engineering. I had one of my mentees here today, feeling very proud he's pursuing a career in civil engineering. I have a background in electrical engineering myself, and it's kind of one of my passions to get more African-Americans pursuing engineering and technical careers. And uh, that's what it's all about, giving back I was always taught, lift as you climb. So I'm really appreciative of the honor. It's very important for African Americans and other minorities to pursue STEM-related careers because there are lots of opportunities there. There are smart meters, technology changing, opening up doors in areas that have never been opened before. And right now, there is a limited number of minorities pursuing careers in this field and my feeling is, if this, we were more exposed to this, we would pursue additional careers in this field. There are lots of jobs on the horizon, 
And if we expose our kids to this area, definitely this would be an area for job growth, economic opportunity for the entire community. So the question was posed, just like Usain Bolt just dominated the Olympics. He has proved himself to be a legend, winning the 100 meters, the 200 meters, the 4 by 100 meters at three successive Olympics. He has served to be an inspiration to others looking to pursue a career in track and field. I feel the very same way for myself and my colleagues who have pursued degrees and careers in engineering. If we were to set the example, continue to set the example for other African American kids, we would also inspire them to pursue careers in this field. Energy, engineering is something that impacts the entire society. We all have to pay our gas bills. We all got to pay our heat, heating bills. We all got to pay our electric bills. This is something that we cannot do without, and we need more representation in this area. And the more engineers, the more African Americans, the more minorities we have pursuing careers in this field, the better the economic opportunities for the entire country and the entire society. Hi, my name is Roxanne Prasad. I'm the senator representing the 19th Senatorial District. And tonight we had a fundraising event where we also honored some community activists, seven community activists, five of whom were here this evening. Um, it's like it's campaign time and it's this was all part of a fundraising effort to support my re-election bid for September 13th primary. Well when you say powerhouse folks they're all just normal folks also. My council member Alan Maisel came by, Frank Sedio who's the Kings County Democratic um, leader came by. Uh, he's also the leader, my, my district leader and I'm a member of the same, we're all in a member of the Thomas Jefferson De uh, Democratic Club. My, my main agenda is safety and security. Er, in December of last year, I, I um, authored a bill in collaboration with my assembly member, assembly member Joanne Simon, which we talked about curb, to curb the gun violence in our society. We needed to eliminate the, youth, the purchasing of ammunition. When we say eliminate, it's to scale down and how much ammunition an individual can purchase, and also the amount the amount of weapons you can purchase legally. And so that bill did not go over well. The NRA took offense to that, and and so for over the past eight months, you know, they, it has not been going well in terms of that bill. But we have a problem in our society, especially in the communities that I represent parts of the communities that I represent where it is a spike in gun violence and we have to do something to curb that gun violence and we thought by authoring bills that would prevent people from having access to weapons and ammunition will in some small way start to curb the gun violence you know I'm also talking about getting enough funding for our senior citizens our senior centers are not being fully funding funded you know, I was at a senior center a couple of weeks ago, and the, the director was, was talking that the seniors, you know, in the, in the rush to give them such a balanced diet and counting the calories, that they do, they're no longer giving them bread with their meal, and the seniors want just two slices of bread. It's not that they only want the two slices of bread. Some of them take the, the slices of bread and take it home for an afternoon snack. But because they're counting the calories, they're not given the bread. And the centers can't afford to purchase the bread on their own. So they were saying, you know, how can they get funding so they can purchase something as small as bread? The Senate office is located at 1222 East 96th Street. And the cell telephone number there is 718-649-7653. And um, the office is open Monday through Friday. We're there to service as, as many people as, as possible who come in to, uh, for asking for assistance. In addition, as you know, September 13th is my re-election campaign. Um, primary on that day you know, we talk about this nationally there's a talk of November election in November but locally September 13th is the most important day for us and that's the day of re-election and so I'm looking for people who want to volunteer on, on, on my campaign so far our campaign office is located at 77 Conklin Avenue uh, that's in Canarsie and it's between East 93rd Street and East 94th Street so Feel free to come by 77 Conklin Avenue any day. You know, we're, we're there in the afternoon from 3 p.m. until about 9 p.m. I want to say what's up to all the members of the six, of the 19 Senatorial District. Hey, and as to my mother and everyone else, happy, happy, happy weekend. Summer is winding down, so enjoy with while it lasts. What's up, everyone?